Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here in the small town of Adams, Tennessee. I've been here before and made several videos, but I thought I'd give you an update on the status of the abandoned downtown area here. Now, I don't want to imply that Adams is a ghost town. It's not. Like most communities in Middle Tennessee around the hub of Nashville, I'm sure Adams is growing and thriving. But this historic Main Street has been abandoned for decades. That's the old Methodist church, completely overgrown now. Here's a snippet of video from my first visit in 2017 that shows how it looked back then. And that's the old J.E. Winters dry goods store opened October 1897. And there's the rest of the block. Note the awnings still intact and the field of antennas with no fence around them. And here we see the church again in 2020 with the mandatory sound of power tools in the background. I firmly believe that someone is operating a loud machine or a power tool in almost all of my videos. It's become like a running joke with me. If you look just below the two second floor windows, you can barely make out the faded sign for the J.E. Winters store. When they first opened, they billed themselves as a stave factory. And these were the three remaining buildings. They still held their awnings, wavy gravy to be sure, but still there. And again, notice the field of antennas, but by 2020 it had a chain link fence around it. These buildings were constructed between 1913 and 1915 after a fire destroyed earlier structures. And here, back to the current time, 2024, when this was made. See, the old Winters building has lost some of its plywood coverings and is standing open to the elements. In addition to the missing awnings, we can see that the antennas and the fence are completely removed. On the left was the Robertson & Company building, a hardware store operated by E.W. Robertson and J.B. Sugg, S-U-G-G. The middle building was a drugstore called the Sorry Drug Company, owned by Dr. Thomas Sorry. The building on the right was a post office operated by J.B. Sugg, who was also the local postmaster. There are falling bricks on the sidewalk in front of the post office. Unfortunately, it looks like the roof is compromised in the back corner.
Look at that wonderful texture in the cracked paint and old wood. The roof is falling in here too. And then, of course, the Old Methodist Church. After one of my previous Adams videos, I heard from someone who got married in that church in the 1980s. As a little bonus, I'll also give you a quick look at this little collection of historic buildings and other things that they've placed here in Adams, just a few blocks away from the abandoned downtown. We actually went here first, earlier in the morning, and as you can see, the light changed by the time we got to the old downtown. The clouds had 
completely cleared off. Okay, y'all, here are my photographs from the day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.